When Francis does die, his daughter and his two youngest sons will have to find another house to wreck. The whole of the great Fulford estate will go to his eldest son, Arthur. I never made any secret. No, no, there's no secrets between my children that Arthur will inherit this and virtually the whole place. That's called primogentia. All goes to the eldest boy. I received it because I was the only boy, and my elder sisters got nothing very much. And my father received it, although he had two brothers, and so on and so on, right back into the dim and distant memory of time. And the only reason why this place exists in this current form is because primogentia was always rigidly adhered to. In other words, for me to suddenly break the rule and say it's unfair is a load of bollocks. It's not unfair, it's totally fair, because I give as I receive, and it would be totally unfair to my ancestors for me to break that pledge. So it goes to Arthur. Paul! They'd be groom me for the job, or if my father was grooming me, I didn't really realise it was happening, and I rather think that's the best way to groom anybody for a job is not to go and make a great song and dance about it and training. You've got to show by example an aptitude. OK, Arthur. <laughs> oh, I can't hit these bloody things. You're so rubbish. I know. Completely shit. You need to love a place like this. You've got to love the landscape, love the house, and you've got to feel for it. If you do that, I think he does. Well, I don't think there's any problem. You're so rubbish.